Welcome to another video, a video from the car. Today we're going to be talking about fearful avoidance. We're going to dive into how they are created, what they're used to, and what their core wounds are, and how they can heal from their trauma. This is part of my attachment style series here on my channel, so let's get into fearful avoidance. Childhood for a fearful avoidant is normally very turbulent, very chaotic, drama, abuse, whatever kind that may be, um, whether that is between the two parents or including the child, there is a lot of turbulence. So a person with the attachment style fearful avoidant today as an adult definitely brings that into their relationships. So they think that relationships romantically have a lot of turbulence, is very chaotic, is very all over the place, fight, make up, fight, make up. Because everybody craves love and connection, they want that, but they also don't want that. So it's they're used to having it and not having it. So they want their partner to be close, but not too close. So that brings me into what their main core wound is, which is lack of trust and feeling trapped. With parents that are, let's say, abusive or fight a lot, very chaotic, very unhealthy, the child feels trapped at that point because he, want, he or she wants the love from their caregivers, but the caregivers can't always give it. It wants the love from them, but it doesn't trust that it could get the love from them. So imagine what that would be like if that person brings that mentality and that feeling into their romantic relationships. I want you to love me and connect with me and meet my needs, but I don't trust you. So that is where the, the trust problem and core wound has to be dealt with, obviously, for a healthy relationship to form. This creates a lot of a push-pull type of relationship. So as I said before, wants it but doesn't trust that would be like in the moment of wanting it you're close but then in the moment of you don't feel like you can trust the person you pull away and push so if you're experiencing a push-pull type of relationship maybe the person is a fearful avoidant or if that's you maybe you're a fearful avoidant because this child has seen the parents fight a lot be abusive be chaotic and raise their voices and can, can f see the physiology, this person as a fearful avoidant is very easily affected by little things. So they can pick up a lot on little energies, little, little tiny things of physiology, which could be a problem because they could make up stories in their head that aren't actually the true fact. Remember when I said one of their core wounds is feeling trapped, they could also feel trapped when they're in love because they associate the feeling of being trapped with something bad from their childhood. So even if being in love is a good thing, they associate my partner makes me feel trapped again. So I'm going to be resentful to my partner because that's what I remember being a bad thing. Being trapped into something is really bad. So I'm going to get mean and push you away. So those are some of the main things that a fearful avoidant has gone through. Again, this is a combination of a bunch of things. I'm generalizing here. And we all have different levels of each four attachment styles. So secure, fearful avoidant, dismissive avoidant, and anxious preoccupied. So you may have a little bit of this and a lot more of something else, vice versa. So. You may have a little bit of fearful avoidant and a lot of secure, or you may have a lot of fearful avoidant and a little bit of anxious. We are all a combination, which is why it's so important to figure out what you went through as a child, what you are, what do you bring into your relationships as an adult, and go from there. So now that we have a better understanding of a fearful avoidant person, let's talk about how they can heal. The number one thing they need to work on is communication sounds repetitive but really it's about them communicating what it is they're feeling even if you feel wrong in the moment you feel like it sounds silly when you say it out loud communicating i felt uncomfortable when you showed up late for dinner and didn't advise me learning how to communicate what it is that you're feeling and learning that being vulnerable and communicating these things is safe and you can do that is where you need to start because a lot of these stories and feelings that are made up inside your head most of the time aren't true when it comes to your partner because you're taking what we we experienced in our childhood 
into that. So number one is learn how to communicate what you're feeling. Even if it sounds weird and it feels uncomfortable, being vulnerable is step number one because it will create a stronger bond between you and your partner. You will be able to feel, okay, that wasn't so bad. I express myself and I, I'm alive, I feel safe and we're still together and everything's good. Number two is learning how to reprogram the subconscious mind. And what I mean by that is we think and feel certain things because of our childhood, but we are no longer in our childhood. If you're watching this video, you're probably not. How do we take what we feel inside subconsciously and reframe that so that we can grow into the secure attachment style? If a fearful avoidance main core wound is feeling trapped and lack of trust, that is generally not a safe feeling, right? So we need to instill safety. We need to reprogram ourselves to feel safe. And the way you do that is through repetition and emotion. So you want to constantly, constantly, every day, morning and night, you want to give yourself affirmations about why you are safe now, why it is okay for you to love now, to remind yourself you are no longer in your childhood, you are an adult with your own thoughts and being capable of making your own decisions. So you don't need to feel trapped. You don't need to feel a lack of safety. Giving yourself positive reframes like I am safe, I love the feeling of love, I can be loved, I can give love. If I need to leave for a given situation, I can do that because I am empowered, I am strong, I am safe. Giving yourself that safety is how you, you can start by healing this. I love talking about these attachment styles. I recently dove deeper into all of them. I've known about them for a while, but I never really gave them as much attention as I think they need. And if you're going through your relationship and neither of you know what your attachment style is, I'm sure there are some issues that are going on there because not knowing and not understanding why you are the way you are, why your partner is the way they are, you're probably not working on becoming the healthiest version of yourself if you don't even know what you are, right? There is so much room for improvement. I feel like divorce would not be at all as much of an issue in today's day and age if people actually learned each other's love language and knew each other's attachment style and knew their own attachment style. All of us in this world are who we are because of our attachment style to our parents. So it is so fundamental. It is so crucial to know if you're depressed or anxious or stressed or have commitment issues, have anxiety issues, have attachment issues to like, if you can't find love, if you keep just going through relationships and through relationships, not understanding what the issue is, we got to start looking into ourselves first. Let's look into me. That's what you can control. That's what you can look into. We can only look into ourselves. We don't know what anyone else has gone through as well as they do. So look into yourself, focus on yourself, work on yourself and it will benefit you obviously but it will benefit the people around you it will benefit the quality of your life i cannot stress enough how into attachment styles i am and how interesting it is i've learned so much about myself i have worked on self-soothing myself as an anxious attachment style um based on my upbringing and i could talk about this all day so um i hope this was helpful to you i hope you were able to kind of navigate a little bit of what you are just by listening to these videos and I'm excited to keep adding to this series and talk with different people about their upbringing and their attachment style and their their relationships today so thank you so much for watching if you haven't already joined the grow with v family then hit that subscribe button for me hit that like button if you liked this video and hit the bell so that you get notified every time i post another video thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video